Thanks so much, Adrian. It's a pleasure to be with you all today. As Adrian said, I'm Sean McManus, uh, Product Marketing Lead for Pinterest Advertising Targeting Solutions. And I'm here with you today to talk to you about interest targeting. Interest targeting has long been one of our most popular targeting types. It's really one of the best ways to reach people on Pinterest. And it allows you to take advantage of our deep understanding of people and how they engage with possibilities on Pinterest. So let's start by taking a look at what we're going to cover today. So here is our agenda. First, I'll provide an overview of Pinterest audience, their mindset, and key activities on the platform. Sorry, one moment for uh, technical difficulties moving my slides. Next, I'll show you how to find the right interests for your marketing objectives, and we'll look at how to measure your results. Finally, I'll share some stories from other marketers who are seeing success using interest targeting. So first, what is Pinterest? Given this is a webinar on interest targeting, this portion will be brief, but it's important we put interest targeting in context by going over some important information on who is on the platform in the first place. So each month, over 200 million people now visit Pinterest, which is a 40% increase over 2016. Now, many people I've talked to lately are surprised to find out that today our audience is over 50% international. So this means that a good portion of our user growth over the past few years is coming from new pinners overseas. And today our audience is approximately 70% women and 30% men. There are quite a few families on Pinterest. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm having a little bit of difficulty with the slides here. Just give me one moment. So there are quite a few families on Pinterest, with 60% of Pinterest households having young children. And a lot of our recent signups are men, and our audience indexes highly when it comes to high household income. So that's some of our demographics. As I said, it would be pretty brief in that section. So now let's talk a little bit more about what people are actually doing on Pinterest. Now, when you talk to people about their Pinterest experience versus other platforms, one thing we hear a lot is that Pinterest is a lot more about them. It's a lot more about you, about the specific person on Pinterest. It's not about their friends, but people are using it to plan their daily lives and for big moments too. So looking at someone's feed is a glimpse into who they are. People do a ton of different things on Pinterest, like look at gifts to buy their friends, decide what to make for dinner, keep track of places they want to visit, and plan what they want to wear, and many other things. Everything people on do on Pinterest gives us insight into what is important to them. This includes their preferences, their needs, and their taste. And what's really cool about Pinterest is that we have that information at scale. Over 200 million people, as I mentioned, are now using Pinterest each month. And together, they've created over 2 billion boards with over 100 billion pins. Those 100 billion pins are ideas. And we're able to use this engagement with these ideas as clues to understand bigger things about consumer behavior, what people like, and what they might be interested in doing next. We call this understanding of our content, users, and partners the taste graph. So if you think about it, you go to Google to search for information, you go to Facebook to connect with your friends, you go to Snapchat or Instagram to share a moment, but you go to Pinterest to discover and plan for you. And those planning behaviors lead to a unique mindset. People are really open to new ideas. In fact, 75% of content on Pinterest comes from businesses, whether it's a business adding content or a consumer that has saved it and brought it to Pinterest. New products and new ideas are really core to the natural experience on Pinterest. So given this planning behavior that is so common to Pinterest, what makes our understanding different is the type of intent we're able to capture. We see ideas when they're still forming, when people are just starting to think about that new kitchen they want to create, that outfit they want to wear. We help turn dreams into reality, and you, our advertising partners, get to be there with us, with them, as this is happening. 
Did you know that on Pinterest, 97% of the searches we see are unbranded? This, this, this kind of statistic really just goes to show you that it's a special kind of earlier intent that people are signaling on Pinterest as they discover, save, and engage with your ideas. They have a strong intent to act, buy, and do, which align well with most marketing objectives, to say the least. Now getting to the main topic of today, interest targeting. Interest targeting is one great way to harness this strong intent to act. So now let's dive in and learn more about what interest targeting is and how you can use it to achieve your marketing objectives. So first, what are interests? These are a few of the uh, interests that we have available in interest targeting here in the bubbles. And where do they come from? Well, as I mentioned earlier, we have this great understanding of not only what people are interested in, but even their exact taste in many cases. And this is the magic of the taste graph. So we know that Holly is not only into food, she's into French food. And Holly loves style, of course, but not just any style. She's looking for vintage style. And now marketers are able to tap into this understanding with interest targeting. Now, some people may not know that this is the same set of technologies that we're using outside of ads. It's how we surface magical ideas to every pinner, what powers our incredible core personalization. And it's now available for you to access as marketers. So today you too can reach pinners who are looking for ideas, products, or services like those your business offers with these targeting options. Now, whether your marketing goals are reach, awareness, consideration, sales, or something else, interest can help you narrow your audience to those who will be most likely to respond. And with over 6,000 interests to choose from today, and more actually on the way, there are interests available to meet your needs. So here's a sampling just of our interests in one category, in beauty. As you can see, there's an opportunity to target everyone interested in beauty, just those interested in hair, in makeup, or in skincare, or those who have even more specific interests like sugaring, dark hair, or even solutions for going gray. There's so much you can do in beauty given all the activity we see in this area on Pinterest. It's such a wealth of targeting options that are available for marketers who are looking to understand and target our audience based on this activity. And the same thing goes for food and drink, just another category that I've um, chosen to provide a sample for you here today. Whether your goal is to reach people who are interested in all food and drink, you can target that. If, it's in, if people are interested in vegan recipes, you can target that. Whether it's pizza or beef recipes specifically, we have interests that will help you to reach your desired audience easily. So now that you've heard about our audience, understand more about how pinners engage with content and what some of our interest targeting options look like, let's go over how you go about searching for and adding interests that are relevant to you. Like all targeting, interest targeting is done at the ad group level in Pinterest Ads Manager. You can add targeting to new ad groups or to existing ad groups. To add targeting to a new campaign, choose a campaign type. Then click Create Campaign in the upper right. Enter the campaign name, then advance to the next screen to create your ad group name, choose flight dates, and select targeting types. There you can see a list of all targeting options. The second option after audience targeting is interest targeting. To add targeting to an existing ad group or campaign, Simply navigate to the relevant campaign or ad group and click Edit Ad Group. Then you'll see all the targeting options. In either case, the first screen will show you a list of all the top level interests. You can either browse through the interest tree or you can use the search box. If you use the search box, you'll see any interest that matches your query. In this case, I search using the interest search box for travel. Then I select all the interests that are relevant for me by clicking the ch check boxes. This will define who sees my ads as they browse Pinterest feeds. Then I choose any keywords that are relevant to my target audience. The keywords will ensure that my ads show up when pinners are searching for any of these terms, such as Airstream remodel and Sprinter DIY conversion, as you can see in my keywords down at the bottom. Next, I can choose which locations, languages, devices, and genders are relevant for my ad group. The last two steps are to choose a bid price and assign a pin to use.
once I've received some delivery and I can look, then I can look at a number of different reporting options. We go through reporting in more detail in other webinars on Ads Manager specifically. So for today, we will take a look only at interest specific reporting. As you can see in this screenshot, you can view reporting for every interest you select, as well as those more specific interests that fall underneath it. Metrics like impressions, clicks, and spend, as well as many others are also av are all available at a granular per interest level so that you can optimize your campaign to serve only to those who are responding positively to your message. So let's take a look at how some of our customers are currently using interest targeting as well as other products and features um, like ad formats together in order to get great results. So let's hear from your peers and what other marketers are saying about, about the results that they're seeing on Pinterest. So first, here's a case study for a leading auto manufacturer who used interest targeting along with promoted video with autoplay to achieve their marketing objective of increasing awareness of their upcoming sedan redesign. What they found was that interest garnered 62% higher keyword CTRs versus keywords. They received 25% more impressions using interest targeting than keywords alone. And most importantly, they saw a 22% increase in redesign awareness versus the control. And that's according to Millward Brown, who they were using to do measurement, which is one of our measurement partners. And this was just last month. Needless to say, they'll be coming back for more and we'll be trying out more of our advertising solutions in 2018. And here's another case study, this time from ScoutMob. ScoutMob is a curated lifestyle marketplace that celebrates independent makers and their handcrafted creations, from hand-stitched camera straps to custom stamp necklaces. ScoutMob's primary goal is to attract new customers and inspire sales. Because they prioritize conversions over any other metric, They've learned to optimize their promoted campaigns as they go, ultimately moving people closer to checkout. As a startup that has to be savvy about their marketing budget, ScoutMob pays careful attention to their return on ad spend as well. And that's why they've chosen to stick with CPC promoted campaigns and use the Pinterest tag to understand how to optimize content and get people closer to checkout. So to make sure that they're reaching the right people, ScoutMob uses interest as well as keyword targeting that is relevant to their products and to their promoted pin creative. And ScoutMob's Pinterest presence is its most productive marketing channel, rivaled only by email. Our third, our third case study is from Open Road Films, maker of hit movie Home Again. Open Road was looking to drive more traffic that would ultimately lead to more tickets sold to their upcoming movie. They use interest targeting including romance and entertainment enthusiasts, which enabled them to reach their desired audience. And the results they saw went beyond their expectations, with a video completion rate 52% higher than average and a 10% 10x increase, sorry, in searches for their movie on Pinterest over the course of the campaign. Um, and half of all video ads actually resulted in a pinner watching the trailer. They were very pleased with their results as well. Finally, Nordstrom has also seen promising results in using interest targeting to reach their marketing objectives and are applying interest targeting to many more of their campaigns in 2018. These are just a few of the results that we have gotten so far from interest targeting. There are many, many more. So what are the key takeaways from today? We're gonna go ahead and wrap up this portion of the webinar in just a minute and get to your questions. So number one, first takeaway, 200 million people use Pinterest every single month. Pinners have created over 2 billion boards with over 100 billion pins. And that's a ton of activity, all of which feeds into the taste graph, which powers our interest targeting solutions for partners. Number two, today we offer over 6,000 interests, which cut across a ton of categories, including fashion, travel, food and drink, beauty, DIY, and many more categories. There are interests available for nearly any marketing objective. Number three, 
It's easy to add interest targeting, both to new and existing campaigns. You can do this in Ads Manager, and most of you on this webinar will do that. For some, uh, for some advertisers, we also have uh, preferred marketing partners that you can use to add interest as well, and interests are available through them as well. It's up to you. Either way, you'll find that it's easy to find and select the right interest for you. And to see reporting on which interests are resonating with pinners in your campaigns, you can use our per interest reporting. Number four, last but not least, you've heard a few stories from some of our partners who are seeing great results using interest targeting alongside some of our exciting ad formats. There's no better time to get started. So thank you so much for your time. And now I'll kick it back to Adrian, who will talk through what we're doing next. Awesome. Thanks so much, Sean. Um, all right, guys. So before we jump into Q&A, I just wanted to give a quick shout out for our program, Pinterest Propel. So some of you may already be advertising through Ads Manager, our self-serve tool. You can certainly continue to advertise through that at any um, budget that you would like. So you can get started today, no matter what your budget is, through our Ads Manager tool. Um, but if you're ready to spend a little bit more and looking to spend around $100 a day, um, you are eligible to be a part of our Pinterest Propel program that you will um, be getting a little bit more support if you join that program, um, helping out with creative tips from our in-house creative team, as well as an account manager, an account rep to be working with you on your strategies. So if you're ready to spend more than $100 a day, just wanted to call out that you can join the Pinterest Propel program. Um, a lot of folks have been seeing um, three times more clicks and higher CPCs when they've been a part of this program, just having that kind of more direct support um, from our teams here to get you guys um, going and get your campaigns really efficient. And you can join that at the link there. It's found on our business site. It's business.pinterest.com forward slash en forward slash Pinterest dash propel. And again, you'll have these materials after this webinar, so you can have this link and all the resources um, and materials found within this presentation. Also want to call out the upcoming webinars. So we obviously went through very specific targeting for interest on Pinterest today, um, but we are going to go through a couple other topics for the rest of the week. So if you can see here, um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, tomorrow we'll be talking about search specifically. So if you're looking to run search campaigns specifically on Pinterest, um, we'll also be going deeper on Ads Manager. Maybe you need um, a little bit more of a tutorial and some tips on just how to navigate that tool. Um, and then Friday, really exciting, we'll be talking about tips for optimizing to make your campaigns as most effective for you as possible. So just know that these are also this week. Um, if you, by chance, don't register or can't make it, um, we'll also have these available on our Pinterest um, for Business site within the next month or so. so. You'll still have access to the recordings, but highly recommend you sign up um, and at least register because then you'll still receive our recap emails um, that include the materials sooner than before they're posted on the site. 